G'day folks. Well, just before I throw this little gadget out, I figured I'd do a little autopsy on it. Uh, this is a little rotary encoder that I picked up at work. It's a damaged item. It came off a machine that fell over and actually smashed the uh, wheel that the encoder was attached to against the ground. And as you can see, it's a little bit bent. Well, and it's running away from me. But yeah, as you can see, the input shaft is bent and it does not work. So I started pulling it apart and there's a lot more inside this than I thought. It's made by Delta. These things are about $50 from Mectric. Uh, we don't have, uh, I think you need an account and that sort of thing to get a decent price on them. But yeah, we can pretty much get these for about 50 bucks each at work. So it's no big deal to replace one of them. Same with like one eighth or one quarter horsepower three phase motors. Again, they're Chinese as it says there, but for a three phase motor, one quarter horsepower, they're about $50, $60 each delivered. So Metric do really good stuff. And they also sell the uh, single and twin rotor klaxon style reproduction sirens. They sell flashing lights, alarm lights, various electronic components, encoders, various motors and drives, gearboxes, worm drives, everything. I'll post a link to their website in the description. Um, you probably need an account to buy from them, but if you've got a industry account or something like that, you can easily get onto Mectric and buy some really cool stuff. They also supply the Curtis DC controllers that I use at work, the 12282901s that I use here. There are a couple of good ones that I managed to repair and salvage. They were also originally sold by Mectric. But either way, enough rambling about that. I figured I'd show you this. It's kind of complicated looking, but basically there's a uh, infrared diode emitting light to a pickup, and that little wheel that spins around there has very fine slots in it. So every time one of those passes and creates a shadow over the pickup, it, it registers that as one fraction of a revolution. I can't remember exactly what it is, it's probably in the code itself, but there'll be a uh, specific number of pulses per revolution that this encoder puts out. But as you can see, there's a fair bit of SMD technology on here. I was just expecting a output, uh, a diode and a pickup, but this puts out everything, it pro or processes a fair bit, then puts it out to the PLC. And again, Delta PLCs are very cheap and their software is pretty much open source freeware. Not like Alan Bradley or any of the other ones that I've got around here. Uh, it's very cheap and very easy to get. So there's not an awful lot on the boards. It's mostly just uh, small, a few small semiconductors and capacitors. Um, I should try and break this apart since it doesn't work anymore, but I don't have my uh, jeweler's screwdriver set handy. There isn't an awful lot else apart from the uh, encoder wheel and the emitter, or the diode. I have put power to this, and even though it's damaged, it doesn't, you can't see visible light coming from it. If I had something which would detect infrared, that'd be another ball game. I'd be willing to bet that it's infrared, but I cannot detect anything from that little diode there. It looks gold-plated too. It could also be laser. Infrared laser or ultraviolet, maybe. But I'll be willing to bet that it's just straight infrared. There is a fairly hefty little semiconductor or something under there. You can see a bit of uh, thermal compound tape wedged between the front housing and the uh, device. Oh, it's an 8-pin integrated circuit. You can see the pins underneath there. It's an 8-pin IC. Probably a voltage reg or something. But the uh, inputs, as you can see, blue is 0 volts, brown is 7 to 24 volts direct current, white or oh, black is A, white is B, and orange is Z, or Z, which are the uh, signal outputs. So blue and brown is your power supply, and then you've got your um, outputs in so many pulses per revolution, I guess. But the PLCs can also 
the PLCs that these work with can also not just revel, uh, recognize revolutions per, or sorry, pulses per revolution, but they can also process things like acceleration velocity, um, actual speed, and pretty much anything, anything related to the revolution of that shaft, it can pick up. It can pick up acceleration, it can pick up stopping force, that sort of thing. They're really handy little devices, but yeah, as you can see, this one's trash. It was even just dropping it on the ground's enough to kill one of these. They're extremely sensitive, but this one's had a horrible collision with the ground and bent the input shaft. So she's done for, but just before I throw it out, I figured you might want to have a quick look at it. And like I said before, Delta stuff is really easy to work with. It's really cheap and it's they're so, they don't charge a fortune for their software. I'm pretty sure you can buy or pick up most of their software for free from their website. And it's pretty much all we use at work is the little clip together rack mount Delta PLCs and the uh, encoders, the solenoids, valves, that's other stuff like that, various industrial automation equipment, motors, you name it. So I'll post a link to uh, Metric. Australia in the uh, description. It's well worth looking through. It's pretty good to drool over a lot of some of the technology and equipment they have there. Variable frequency drives, sirens, alarm flashing lights, encoders, motors, gearboxes, worm drives, the lot. So, hope you enjoy it and uh, thanks for watching.